Hello, I love how my Christmas tree is just right over there. I, I'm sitting on the floor and I could totally just scoot over there to film with the tree, but I chose beige. Yeah, we're related. So today I wanted to sit down and do a nice little chit chat video. It's me, Christine. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's hop right into it. How to go through school alone slash dealing, how to deal with loneliness, loneliness. Two things, a chunk of school, like within the school year has passed. It's been about what, like three, four months, something like that. And the holiday season now is, uh, is basically here. I was gonna say approaching, but I'm pretty sure it's here. Loneliness is so tough. Um, once again, I'm just gonna be chatting in this video. There isn't too much structure whatsoever. Um, but it, it is like, it is so tough. The more that I genuinely think about it, you know, I can just say loneliness is tough, but when I like actually feel the weight of that, damn. When you live life alone, just day by day, as slow as it goes, it is so, it is, you feel so hurt, and at the same time, although you feel, you know, hurt and it's tough and it's hard, it's also so numbing. So I wanted to, first of all, share um, a really major time where, like, I, that's the one of the, what am I even saying? I felt extremely alone during this time. So, where I live, high school goes grade 8 to grade 12. And so for grade 8, I went to the high school that was very close to me. Extre like y'all don't understand extremely co close to me um, all my like elementary school friends went there So I was like, let's go. Let's go. So I decided to go realize that it was my 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 place. I Never found my groove, but that's for a different time. So I switched schools for grade 9 and I was very excited. I wanted to go to a school that I knew no one in I didn't want to know anyone at all and uh I didn't really care the distance I'd have to travel to get to school. Public transportation where I live is fairly good when you look at the bigger picture of it. I picked a school and when September of grade 9 hit, I went there and at first I just kind of talked with like the people in my classes because they kind of noticed that I was new. Then just weeks went on, months went on and it was, you know, around this time, November, December, where, you know, the classic, you sit on like the staircase alone for lunch or something that I would do in the beginning of the year was like sit outside in like this, not secluded area, but no one would really sit out there for lunch. And then finally, once the weather got cold, I would sit inside, whether that was, I never wanted to be, I never wanted to sit at my locker for lunch because, you know, I'd be constantly surrounded by different friend groups all around me and I would just be alone sitting in front of my locker eating lunch so I would always kind of go to an empty hallway or on an empty staircase that kind of continued on until about February of that year until I finally made a friend point is those five six months of loneliness was so tough don't get me wrong I have supportive parents family I had friends during that time but once again it's that day to day when it's just it's just you're going day to day you know it feels the day feels really slow and you kind of just get used to feeling alone or you choose or you don't choose you just don't even realize it you choose to numb how you feel or else it just gets too much I was always just you know floating in those waves of you know loneliness numbing the feeling feeling the feeling that's so wild to me I know I look like I'm still in grade 9 trust me but uh yes I'm 18 I do online school now funny enough but it was tough I grew up with a fairly good group of friends in elementary school by the time you were you know toward the end of it I had a pretty solid group of friends um, I always for the most part I always had people around me I never worried about friendships or anything like that I grew up very shy but once I found my people I found my people and so going into high school not really feeling my groove that's kind of when the loneliness started but I still had that like excitement since I was planning to go to a new school and then once I transferred to the new school feeling that genuine loneliness where you're not really excited 
I hope that person is okay. Once I really felt that loneliness and there was not really anything to look forward to, like the excitement of, oh, I feel this way right now, but I'm going to a new school. Yeah, that wore off. Um, the excitement of, oh, I'm, I'll be alone, but like I'm gonna go to a new school and it's gonna be fun and we'll see what happens. That, all of that wore off. The excitement just wore off and it just became day to day. I'm so unbelievably thankful that I did switch schools when I did. I'm so happy that I made that decision in that time in my life. I'm so thankful to my younger self that I didn't just settle just because my friends went to the first high school that I was going to. I'm thankful that I just went for it and, you know, although the first couple months were rough, there were some good times that sprouted later on, you know? This isn't necessarily like an advice video, I'm just kind of talking off the dome, but, um, hope. You get to a point where you feel literally no hope that like, oh my goodness, like I'm not gonna meet anyone anymore and it's kind of too late to make new friendships in the weird way. It's like the weird thoughts that we think, like it's too late or no one like no one liked me in the first month so like who cares about all the other months to come like nothing's gonna change like you just kind of lose that hope slowly but surely but I like tell oh my goodness I can't tell you enough never lose hope like never lose hope in the day when you wake up in the morning you never know what might happen you might meet someone on the bus and they could be going to a totally different school than you are, but you hit it off with them. Hold on to that hope, and I know you're lit and I know that if you're in this situation right now, that you want to punch me in the face, I would, and I would have probably felt the same way if someone else was telling me this back then. But um, just don't, don't give up. Don't s stop those negative thoughts of like nothing's gonna change. No one likes me. Um, I made a mistake. Stop. Just stop. You never know what the day is going to bring you. And if it takes the entire year for you to feel comfortable and accepted and all loved, then it takes the entire year. And I know that there were times where I was like, I'm over it. Like, blah, 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 blah. You're not actually over it. There is always going to be that little kick in you, that little fight in you, that, that human instinct of survival to just like continue. And I want you to continue to... Like, y'all, I know it's hard. Like, I get it. I freaking get it. <sighs> this is one thing that I kind of, I don't know. I feel like I, it was a choice that I made that who would have known the outcome of, you know? I definitely don't. But within the first week of that school year, a girl, like, just invited me to come sit with her for lunch. And me being shy, insecure, and, like, completely new, I didn't sit with them at lunch. The following class, she was like, oh, why didn't you sit with us? And I, 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 I'm pretty sure I said I forgot, but I didn't forget. I just chose not to. I felt like, not that I, like, I didn't know the people there. I had no idea, like, you know, the popularity status of anyone. So, like, that person, I didn't know anything. But, like, I just felt not good enough. I was, once again, like, new and insecure and anxious and all these things. And it's like when you feel lonely, when you feel like you're doing something new and you're first going for it and you know, nothing's like you're basically alone, say yes. Say yes. Because I still kind of think about that. You know, not every day. It's not like in the back of my mind ever. But it definitely stands out in my head as a moment in my life where what if I said yes? What if I. No, this. This girl asked me the first week of school, what if I, <laughs> what if I said yes? What if I like totally hit it off, was best friends with these people, who would have known? You know, if I just said yes, I would have saved myself from the next six months of loneliness. Who would have known? But it was just me that was stopping me from saying yes. When you're dealing with loneliness, when you're dealing with just being new, Say yes, and if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. It's fine. Don't be your worst enemy. Just don't. Don't get in the way of yourself because it, it sucks. It hurts. And it's something that I don't think we think about enough. I've grown to be very aware of it, but at the end of the day, then I wouldn't have experienced this, this loneliness and I wouldn't have learned and I wouldn't have grown. I wouldn't have become me. It just, it always pains me when you see that person that is alone or 
the fact that I just know that there are people out there. I know not a lot of people watch my videos, but people watch them, whether it's two or four or six of y'all that feel alone. And once and it's the holiday season, everyone's going out. Everyone is having these little gatherings, these parties, they're looking all cute in their little dresses or whatever it may be. It, we're all human. We all have like our brains that kind of just like poke at us. You know, we have those negative, destructive, ugly thoughts. I'm, I can't sit here and say, just think positive. Be thankful for the things in your life. Because honestly, yes, that stuff does work, but it still sucks when you're just like living life alone and you feel like everyone else is living life with other people. I guess a tip would be go out there, stop feeling sorry for yourself, stop pitying yourself, and just kind of go out there, get a job or something, because I feel like a lot of people um, kind of make those fun connections with work friends. If you're in school, join a club. I tried joining some clubs. Didn't really stick for too long. I think one of the most dangerous thoughts are that like playing the victim, feeling sorry for yourself, yada yada yada. I feel like once you start doing that, you kind of have a false perception of reality at that point. Stop playing the victim, grow up, you know, do what you gotta do. I don't know, change your hair color if you have to, and just go out. Go out into the world and like, I know it's scary, and I never want y'all to settle for less. If you meet a group of people, but you realize that these people aren't for you, these people aren't gonna build you up, leave, get out. I would much rather be alone than be surrounded by negative people. I don't like that. I don't, I've never have. I would much rather be alone. I think at the end of the day, like, once again, this isn't an advice video, but I want you to know that I am here and that I've felt the feelings that you have felt. You know, I, I'm not going too, too deep just because I don't want to talk about anything crazy, you know, triggering, but I think that above all the things that I just said, I want you to know that people also feel that way. People also feel that way. I'm always here, I don't care. If you want to talk, hi, I'm here. When I felt my loneliness, I think the one thing that I, that really helped me was knowing that I was seen and I was cared for. And I want you to know that I see you and I care. Oh my gosh, like, I, I totally understand that this, this is online, this is YouTube, who the frick cares? I could be talking, you know, out of my bum, but I promise you I'm not. Words are really all I have to kind of express that, you know, once again, this is YouTube. But I think that's really all I have to say. <laughs> I just, I want you to know that like, oh my gosh, you are seen, you are so very cared for. If you wanna join the time, go subscribe, like, comment, whatever you wanna comment down below. I don't know, get something off your chest, say that we support each other, whatever it is. Go ahead if you want, follow the visco. I just don't wanna end this video with you not believing that I see you and that I care for you and that you are cared for, like, but what can I do? You know, I'm only human, so <laughs> I love you. Thank you for watching this um, with whatever you- Camera died. It, it was basically red for the entire time, but I was ending it off anyways. Love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Join the time if you want. I'll see you in a little bit.